Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly, and today I am going to be showing you how to delete a file using Java. So let's get right into it. Firstly, make sure you import these two libraries at the top of your code, we'll be needing them for this tutorial. Then make sure you have a main method, public static void main string array args. We'll be needing this because this is going to be the function that's executed when your program first runs. Then we are going to set up a try catch statement. So it's try catch exception e system.out.println error plus e dot get message. So basically, we're going to execute some code in the try statement. If an error occurs, don't crash the program. Instead, print out the error message. Inside the try statement, we're going to do two lines of code. We're going to do files.delete, paths.get, then a name of the file that we want to delete. And then we're going to do system.out.println file deleted successfully. Basically, if no error occurs, that means this file was deleted su successfully. And then we can print out the file was deleted to let the user know. If something goes wrong, this line of code won't be executed because the catch will occur instead, because an error occurred. Files.delete will delete a file at a file path, and paths.get will convert a URL to a path object, and files.delete will need a path object to know where the file we want to delete is located. With all of that, save your work. If you're in NetBeans, you can right-click on your project and go to Properties, and this is going to be where your Java project is. And we've got a couple of files here that we're going to try and delete. But this is my Java folder and my file path is in it. You can put your file path wherever you want, just make sure you get the folder structure correct. With all of that, we're going to hit play and it says file deleted successfully. If we go here, look, it's gone. Now we're going to try and remove removeme.txt now and it says file de deleted successfully. If we go back, look, it's gone. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more Java tutorials. Thanks for watching.